All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie War. Welcome back to the Ollie War channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic Monday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. But as always, before we do get into the video, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and smash 150 likes. Also, subscribe if you're new. We're very close to 7,000 subscribers. We're under 100 subscribers away now, guys. And also, comment where you're from. I haven't asked you guys in a few weeks. Where are you watching this from? Leave it in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get in to some Leeds United transfer news. First of all, we're going to start off with Leeds ready to bid for Minamino. Leeds have been interested, as we know, in Minamino since January. Liverpool are now reportedly seeking £15 million for the Japanese international amid reports of interest from Leeds United. Um, Minamino has scored 10 goals in 18 games last season. Nine starts, that is. And the links with Marsh could see this this transfer over the line. First of all, I mean, Minamino stats there, 10 goals in nine starts. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. I know it's 18 games. Klopp plays him out on the wing. With us, he'd probably play more as a number 10 alongside Aronson. But yeah, it's, it's looking like Liverpool are now putting a price tag because Leeds are really up in their interest in the Japanese international. Obviously, I'm going to talk about Rasmus Christensen. But yeah, it looks like that, uh, that deal is going to get over the mark. So maybe we're going to focus on this one next. Is Minamino, if he does sign, going to play as a number 10 or well, Do you think he'll play alongside like Bamford or Joffe? I, I don't know. This could be a fantastic sign. And also today, Leeds United did post a uh, picture because uh, this morning, for if you're watching in the UK, this morning it was Brazil versus Japan, okay? And they're saying, yeah, Rafinha played 63 minutes uh, today as Brazil won 1-0 against Japan. The photo they decided to choose was a picture of Rafinha and Minamino in the photo. So, Wilson... He, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing on the Leeds United Twitter uh, page. But I, I don't know. I mean, I personally would like Minamino. I know it's been a very debated comment that people are saying he's too lightweight. He's just a Japanese Tyler Roberts, which I think is very harsh. Um, I think he will be a fantastic player. And for 15 million, I think that's an absolute steal, if I'm being completely honest. We're not going to get that much like Premier League quality for that cheap. Do you know what I mean? And, and Liverpool do want to offload the likes of Minamino and Origi. So I'll tell you what, th this could happen and Leeds could be ready to bid £15 million for Liverpool's man, uh, Minamino. Next up, we are going to be talking about is uh, Rafinha says no to Liverpool. Talking about Liverpool, it's reported by Sport that Rafinha has rejected a move to Liverpool. The rumours were linked uh, from the departure of Mane. Obviously, he looks like he's on his way to Bayern. Um, Phil Hay has said in the past Rafinha has never pushed for a move away so could we see um, Rafinha the Brazilian here next season the dream for him is the Barcelona move but if they can't afford him then he might just be a Leeds United player next season all I want to know is I want to get this done he's either staying or he's going we know that um, the director of Barcelona is flying over to Leeds next week to speak with Rads and stuff trying to get the price tag down for Rafinha but Leeds will play hardball and I don't believe Leeds will sell up to Barcelona. So I respect the professionalism of Rafinha. He's saying, I play for Leeds. I'm letting my agent sort it out. But if I can't go to Barcelona, I think I think he wants to stay here. I think that's how it works, which, you know what? Fair play. Unless Barcelona come out with some massive beard that they find money that they can't seem to find right now, then I believe maybe Rafinha might be here next season. You never know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments down below. Right. Next up, I've got Leeds to complete the signing of Rasmus Christensen this week. Phil Hay confirms Christensen is poised to join Aronson in becoming Leeds' second signing of the summer following successful talks with the Whites. Uh, Leeds are set to beat Dortmund and Brentford, having agreed a five-year deal and uh, looking to be around £50,000 a week for the right back. The 24-year-old is still subject to a medical, but Leeds are looking to conclude formalities by the end of the week while Christensen is still on international duty. Apparently, an announcement will be this week. I reckon it will probably be maybe Thursday or Friday. I mean, everything seems to be going well for this, unless he does fail the medical. I don't think many players nowadays fail the medical. But yeah, um, there we are. It looks like our second signing under Marsh. I think we all know this by now, but it has been confirmed by Phil Hay. And people say, oh, it hasn't been confirmed by the club. Don't listen to it. Phil Hay, Fabrizio Romano, nine times out of ten do get things right. So it looks like we are going to be getting that announcement. He won't be wearing a shirt and stuff. I think we'll just be getting, you know, 
he signed just a, like a little photo thing, uh, thing. And then when he's finished on international duty, he'll get his medical. And then we'll see him in the Leeds United shirts, which is which is decent. Um, a couple more bits of news. Uh, Liverpool, again, they seem like quite a talking point, apparently are joining the race for Man, uh, with Man City for Calvin Phillips. I don't know how much of this is true. It's reported by the Mirror. I, I, I don't know. It, obviously, he's an England midfielder. That's what they want. Milner has signed on for them, uh, I think, a year extension of with Liverpool. So I don't know if they will need Phillips. Obviously, I know Phillips is better than Milner. But I'm trying to say is midfield area. Probably if you look at Liverpool's team, that's the only place they really need replacing. And yeah, it looks like they're joining the race uh, with Man City for Calvin Phillips. And Man City are trying to speed up their chase for Calvin Phillips. But I don't think they'll start until the official window does open. This next up, these last two are a bit up in the air. Uh, Leeds United after Phil Jones. Reports have come out that uh, Fulham, Southampton and Leeds are interested in signing the Man United centre-back. I'll put here, wouldn't read too much into it. Doesn't fit our system, doesn't fit the profile, but these uh, reports saying we are interested. Guys, would you take Phil Jones at Leeds United? There's nothing really wrong with Phil Jones. Obviously, he's a bit of a meme when it comes to things like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, you know what? Let Fulham or Southampton take him. I think we've got a lot of centre-backs. Um, I believe Koch, Pascal, uh, Coops, they, they all need game time next season. Charlie Cressel needs game time. So I don't think we should go for a player like Phil Jones. So, yeah. The, and the, the, the last bit of uh, Leeds United news I've got is that Leeds are looking at Dries uh, Mertens, the Napoli striker, which is another one take it with a pinch of salt. Reports suggest that Mertens is on his way out of Napoli, not signing a new contract with them, and Palace and Leeds are looking at him. The 35-year-old could be the statement signing Rads was talking about, but also, like I put here, the Jones rumours uh, really just take it with a pinch of salt. He's 35. His wage will be stupid. Yeah, I would probably get him on a free, but also, I, I, I don't know. I mean, would he want to come with two... A team that just finished seventeenth. I, I I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't know what all this is about. But these are just rumors on Twitter. The main ones are that we're getting Rasmus Christensen in. He's confirmed. Minamino bid maybe incoming. Also, Rafinha says no to Liverpool. Phil Jones, Andreas Mertens, and Liverpool do join the race for um, Calvin Phillips with Man City. Guys, that was just a little update. It's it's getting it's it, the thing is I like to report as much as I can as much as what I see but some people do get annoyed it's like this is not real this is not the proper thing it's rumors guys at the end of the day so uh, I hope you guys do enjoy it as always be sure to smash that like button subscribe if you are new like I said let's try and smash 150 likes and also subscribe if you're new very close to 7,000 subscribers and also the goal is 10,000 subscribers before the season starts could we do it also comment where you're from and also your thoughts on Minamino. Will Rafinha be here next season? And would you take Phil Jones? Leave it in the comments down below, guys. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Uh oh